One new ETF just kind of caught my interest, uh, and that's the the uh, sports betting and gaming ETF, BETZ. It's three days old, and yet there's all sorts of press surrounding this thing. Uh, it, it's basically a sports betting ETF. It's got DraftKings and Penn National Gaming and GAN, the uh, the um, the software company that does a lot of it gets its revenue from the gaming industry. It's not that interesting to me, and yet it's been around three days. It's getting all of this uh, attention, inflows, and of course the Robin Hood crowd is very interested in this. Um, can you uh, illuminate why the world is so interested in gaming, or just millennials like sports gaming? Is, maybe it's that simple. Yeah, I mean it's it's a definitely a defensive play, I guess, right now as well. But it just highlights to me how the new ETFs that are coming out are fairly active and really quite interesting thematics. And so when you find a thematic that, that the, uh, the, the sort of investor public wants to have exposure to, um, you get some money flowing into it. And that's one of the things that we've seen with a lot of the smart beta ETFs over the last sort of four to five years is they've been attracting a lot more assets relatively than all the boring index funds that were older and around for longer. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I, I, it, I, would it, just, I would just comment... I would just comment that, you know, I think this, this like what we saw with, say, ESPO or the, the eSports uh, ETFs, these are capturing investor attention in a way that very few other things do. Frankly, yeah, I could come up with some, some smart beta ETF based on a great quant model that might perform really well. And it's not as interesting for an average investor than to say, hey, you know what? Everybody's trapped at home. We're all trying to figure out what to do. We're all hopeful that we're going to be getting live sports back again. Uh, this makes a ton of sense to me, just like the esports ETFs have as well. And I think in a lot of ways, thematics are the new factors. It's how investors are thinking about dividing up the market. And with ETFs that can really invest globally, you can capture these things. Because if this was a U.S.-only fund, this would only have two or three names in it, you know, DraftKings and Penn National, that would be about it. But because it can capture, you know, Britain, Australia, Ireland, Malta, you name it, uh, you really do get a pretty pure play on what seems like a pretty narrow corner of the market. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, you, they used to say, invest what you know. That was that old saying in the early 90s. And thematics has sort of become that. So what do, what do yep. people want to invest in the market know about? Well, you know about airlines. They want to go places. You know about sports betting because that's what they want to do with their friends. And so it makes some sense. I don't want to. I think maybe we're overanalyzing a little too much. The answer is, is fairly obvious. But I think you're right. Thematics is the way people play. Invest in what you know.